Animal Husbandry Part 2. This is in uh, the chapter Strategies for Enhancement in Food Production. In this, animal breeding is discussed. What is the aim? What are the aims of animal breeding? To increase the yield of animals as well as desirable qualities of produ produce. To increase the yield of animals and to obtain desirable qualities of produce. What does the word breed means? Breed means a group of animals belonging to related ancestors and which show similarities in characters for example appearance, features, size, configuration etc. I repeat breed means a group of animals who belong to related or common ancestors and they show similarities in characters including appearance, features, size, configuration etc. Now what are the types of breeding? Basically two main types in breeding and out breeding. So the term in means inside. So here it means in breeding is a type of mating which is done in case of same breed of same species. So inbreeding in simple words is done in case of same breed of same species. Outbreeding can be done uh, in different in between different breeds of same species or different breeds of different species. So either uh, different breeds of same species or different species. Now outbreeding is of three main types. Outcrossing, crossbreeding and interspecific hybridization. I repeat outcrossing, crossbreeding and interspecific hybridization. Now discussion about each one in detail. What is inbreeding? Inbreeding is a mating process in which mating is done by males and females of same species for six generations, up to six generations, for four to six generations. So in simple words, inbreeding is done means in case of inbreeding mating is done in between males and females of the same species of same breed as well same breed for four up to six generations now what is the breeding strategy means how inbreeding is done in the first step or in the first generation superior males and females are mated that obtain uh, the um, progeny or second generation the um, features and properties or characters of uh, means characteristics that is appearance features size configuration all these are examined the progenies are examined in uh, simple words then from the progeny superior male and female are selected and then mated. So for four generations or up to six generations, superior uh, mating is done in between male and su uh, in between superior male and female of the same breed of same species. Now coming to the next one, that is, what are the importance of inbreeding? Why is uh, inbreeding is done to increase homogeneity sorry to increase homozygosity homozygote means zygote which homo means same 
zygote is the fertilized egg or it's better to say when um, zygote is the structure made uh, by fertilization or mixing of male and female gamete so importance of inbreeding is first point to increase homozygosity that is pure bloodline animals can be created by this inbreeding process now second point elimination of harmful recessive genes harmful recessive genes can be eliminated as well as third point less desirable genes can be removed means inbreeding have all these mm, beneficial effects now coming to what is inbreeding depression when inbreeding is done for several generations for example four or six generations especially in case of closely related breeds so inbreeding is normally done in case of closely related breeds then what happens then productivity and fertility of the animals decrease which is known as inbreeding depression i repeat when inbreeding is done for several generations especially in closely related breeds then productivity as well as fertility of the animals decrease this is called inbreeding depression now next type that is outbreeding so outbreeding basically are of three types first one outcrossing what is outcrossing mate outcrossing is when mating is done in between superior males and females of same species but which do not have any ancestral relationship so same species as well as same breed but they do not have any ancestral relationship which is done in case of inbreeding and the, similarly in outcrossing also mating is done up to 6 generation from 4 to 6 generation so i repeat outcrossing is mating in between superior males and females of same breed and species but which don't have any ancestral relationship and mating is done from 4 up to 6 generation it is best breeding method to increase productivity of either milk or beef or cattle why because this decreases uh, means th that's the importance of uh, outcrossing that um, help to overcome inbreeding depression in case of a species or in case of a breed and in outcrossing the progeny obtained is called uh, created is called outcross so the progeny in case of outcrossing is called outcross now coming to the next one that is cross breeding cross breeding is the mating between superior males and females of one breed so it's better to say in case of cross breeding mating is done in between superior males of one breed and superior males of different breed belonging to same species so in case of cross breeding and outcrossing the species is same in case of outcrossing the uh, what to say the breed is also same but they do not have ancestral re relationship in case of cross breeding Uh, mating is done in between different breeds again superior males uh, of one breed and superior females of another breed now what are the importance of cross breeding commercial production of uh, an animal uh, production then development of new stable breeds of superiors for example hisardale is a new brand of or breed of a ship made in punjab 
using bikaneer eus and merino rams so hisardel i repeat cross breeding is mating between superior males of one breed and superior females of another breed belonging to same species what are the importances of why cross breeding is used first point commercial production second point development of new stable uh, superior breeds for example hisardel is a superior new breed of she sheep made in punjab using bikaneer ewes and merino ram rams now coming to the next part that is interspecific hybridization in this technique mating is done between animals belonging to two different species as a result progeny may or can obtain special properties from both parents i repeat interspecific hybridization is the technique of mating done by uh, done between animals belonging to two different species as a result a progeny can obtain special properties or characteristic features characteristic uh, characters from both parents the only the only problem related to interspecific hybridization is the um, hybrid which is generated means the progeny is the hybrid mixture of two different species when they are used for a uh, normal mating process then um, they they cannot uh, produce a uh, next generation so only drawback of interspecific hybridization is that the progeny obtained cannot produce next generation mostly is unable to produce now coming to controlled breeding experiment what is controlled breeding uh, experiment it is done by artificial insemination now uh, what is actually done in artificial insemination semen from one breed breed is either directly injected in the female of another breed or, or it can be of same breed or stored in ice and used later same problem in case of control breeding also the problem related to this is the progeny obtained using this technique are unable to produce next generation so how to overcome this problem to overcome this problem multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology i repeat multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology in short moet is used now what are the stages or how this technique what are the steps of this technique used in this uh, technique in in the first step a female for example a a cow is treated with follicle stimulating hormone like that is fsh like chemical leading to follicular maturation and super ovulation i repeat a female animal for example cow is treated with fsh like that is follicle stimulating hormone like chemical leading to follicular maturation and super ovulation as a result instead of one egg per menstrual cycle six to eight eggs are produced by that female animal now these eggs are either fertilized using a light bulb or artificial insemination then what what is done next step these fertilized eggs at the 8 to 32 cell stage are recovered non surgically 
and transferred to the surrogate mothers. Uh, what about the genetic mother? Genetic mother is used for super ovulation. Another round of super ovulation. Now what else? That um, these, this technology has been demonstrated for cattle, sheep, rabbits, buffaloes, mares etc. So this technique can be used in case of cattle, sheep, rabbits, buffaloes, mares, etc. and high milk yielding breeds of females and high quality lean meat that is uh, high quality meat means lean meat with less lipid meat yielding bulls have been uh, bred successfully to increase the herd size in short time. So uh, how it, it this technique means what are the results or what are the pro products obtained high milk yielding breeds of female as well as uh, high quality meat yielding bull high quality means lean meat with less lipids 